Hi, I'm Robert from Part Fusion Electronics, and this is a video introducing the options and the basic assembly steps for my LED 40 displays. I've got two displays, the LED Shamrock and the LED Heart, and these are kits suitable for people who want to continue practicing their newly found soldering skills. The kits are very basic and um, just consist of LEDs and resistors and they get their power from a 5 volt supply like a USB connector. The, there's two, there's three power options. There's um, um, micro USB, mini USB, so it's a, there's a, this type, micro USB which is common with uh, mobile phones and mini USB which is an older style but still quite common so they can be powered from a computer or from a like a phone charger there's also an option for a screw terminal block to be fitted which will allow a 5 volt battery or other 5 volt supply to be connected the, the boards are supplied with the USB connectors already soldered in place because they're a bit tricky to solder so they wouldn't be suitable for um, somebody new to, new to soldering to try and do it themselves so I'll do, I do that for free the kit includes the board one of each one of the kits includes the so the LED heart includes the board LEDs and a resistor and switch and the LED shamrock has a similar set of items included along with this you'll need to have a soldering iron and stand pair of side cutters, needle nose pliers, and some solder. And to connect it up you'll need a USB cable or um, other type of power cable. The process for assembling the kits is exactly the same. So for this video I'm only going to assemble one of the LED heart displays. The first step to do is to take your resistors so the resistors can, will either come on tape like this or will be individual. So the first thing you need to do is remove them from the tape and that just happens by pulling them carefully from the paper tape like so. Then using our needle nose pliers, they're going to go, they're going to go into the holes. So what we want to do, because these are going to be visible, and this is a, a type of display, we want to neatly bend the wires. So using the tip of our needle nose pliers, we me measure up the first one, and we grip the resistor like so. And then we can use our finger to bend the the lead wire over and then we can kind of measure up the other side as well and if you don't have a needle nose pliers you would be able to bend these with your finger but using the pliers we can get a very neat effect and because these will be user visible or visible to the front of the display we want to have as neat a, an arrangement as possible so then they can go through the holes like so. Okay. And if we quickly bend some more.
we can place a couple through the holes. And what we want to do is to make sure that the the colours are all lined up the same too. This is just for aesthetic reasons. The electrons won't matter. Or the electrons won't mind the orientation of resistors. So if I leave a gap between the holes, it, it's a bit easier for me then to solder these first couple of resistors in place. So if I flip that over, zoom in, So taking my soldering iron, I can quickly solder these first lead wires. Flip it around. And before I do the other side, I'll give it a quick check to see how neat they are. Then using my side cutters, if holding the LED, the lead wire, I cut the, the wires away. And then I can continue with the, the rest of the resistors. Take your time while soldering all the resistors. Go try and be as neat as, as you can. Take your time. It can take a couple of minutes. Okay, the next step is, is to mount the is to take the LEDs out of the bag. And now the LEDs have an orientation. They have a long lead and a short lead. It's not very clear to see on these LEDs. But they also have a flat notch in the, in the ring that goes around the, in the flange here. So that's Flat notch is the negative side of the LED, the cathode. So, and on our circuit board, we have a, a circle with a notch in it, which represents where the LEDs go. So the notch side of the LED, which is the short lead, needs to go into those holes or it needs to face the notch. So the long lead goes into the circle and then the short lead goes into the square. Like so. And to make soldering a bit easier, what, we do, what I do is put LEDs into the The extremities are put off the board. So this allows me when I flip the board over for the board to kind of stay flush with the uh, work surface. So, like that, so it's, it's kind of flat. And what I do is I just quickly tack the one lead of the LED into place. I zoom in. Doesn't really matter which And now 
what I do is I go flip the board over and I make sure that the LED is straight. And these first three are okay. So what I can do is I can solder the other side. And then before I put the lead, that was a bit too close to the board. Okay. So that's the first couple of LEDs. And then I do a few LEDs at a time. to fill out the rest of the board, making sure to put them all in in the right orientation. And again, I just tack them in place. I'm intentionally going to do one crooked to show you how to straighten them up. So you can see these two here are tacked in place but aren't So what I do is I use my thumb on one side of the board and the soldering iron on the other. And what I do is I heat the solder and then with my thumb I just kind of push it into place. I can do the same with this one. So and again, I check them to make sure that they're flush. And then I can solder the other parts. Okay, so then I just have to continue with the rest of the LEDs. So take your time and try and be as neat as possible. As before with the resistors, take your time and try and be as neat as possible with um, positioning and soldering of the LEDs. So the last component to solder in place is the uh, switch and depending on how you're going to mount the LED you can put the switch in in the front or the back so if you are going to have it facing out on a window it might be more appropriate to have the switch on the back side of the board but um, for this example I'm just going to solder it to the front so we just put the switch through and then carefully flip the board over and I, I normally just solder the center pin in and then make sure it's the, the switch is straight and then I can solder the rest of the pins.
And if I was using a board with the screw terminal, I would have soldered that on there too now. So now that's all the soldering done. Last thing to do is to connect it up to the power and see if it works. Yep. And so the the process is exactly the same for the Shamrock display. Mount the solder the resistors in place, then solder the LEDs and then the switch. Okay, thank you very much.